When you get the Shad Seek, it's pretty much basic. You get it in the big box from Shad. And inside, it's the strap and the seat and uh, very little and few instructions. Now we're going to check the weight of this compared to the stock seat. 176, nothing in my hands for the baseline. Now the stock seat with no tools, no tools under it, no hooks, no grommet, nothing. It's already been stripped out. 180.1, so four pounds. The tools have been swapped in and the grommet and the latch and everything. So keep that in mind. So a hundred and 81.8 and I was 181.2 so we're, so point uh, but with the tools so we can say that the shed seat is pretty much the same weight as the stock seat so let's compare the two seats side by side they're pretty much the same front width and the clipping points are the same on both. But side profile, look how the shad is thicker. And the dent for the butt is, well, hasn't been made yet because it's brand new. But like on top, you know where you put your legs, like right here, it's still as thin as it was. Which was important to me because I don't didn't want like a wider seat. Like the new Yamaha Comfort seat is a little bit wider and taller. And I didn't like that. I didn't put the back strap on it because I usually ride with a backpack, so I don't need that. Underneath, they're pretty much the same. One big piece of plastic. And it's made the same. All you need to do is transfer the tools. These, this, this, and this. Easy transfer and the latches for the lock on the seat. Only two bolts. It's a 10 mil. If you want to put the strap, back strap, just go underneath. And it's pretty easy to do. Little tip for these grommets. They're easy to take out, but like me, they were like a little bit stuck in the holes. So my tip, turning them around to get them loose. And if you have a little interior fork like this, it's gonna help a lot. Just put it in and out. It's a simple like push rubber. There's no lock, nothing. Just push it in, it's gonna go back in. Just need to yank it out a little bit, but get it free first. It's gonna be way easier. And just put it back in. Same thing, just turn and see, there you go, it's in. So, the main difference between the stock seat and a shad is basically the thickness and the material. Like, look how plush that is. Compared to the seat, stock one, look at this, no give. But then again, this is four years old and my button print is done in this especially for a passenger like I think with the shed seat the one that gains the most is if you ride with a passenger because stock one nothing it's super thin in the back compared to shad look at that give look how thick that is it's way thicker than the stock one which is basically a off-road seat installation is a breeze just like the stock seat, just push it in the front tab and of course, slide it. Just line it in and there you go. It clips. That's it. Wait. 
fit and finish is an 8, 9 out of 10 for me. Like, this gap is a little bit bigger than stock. And here, see how much flex there is and it's not as tight. It should be like this. It's not as tight as stock. Then again, this fits like between 14, 15, 16, 18, like two generations of FZ09, so that's why. And the stock, like the back gap is a little bit higher, but it's not that much of a deal. The comfort you gain, it's good. Like, I feel that I am more leaned forward while I ride. Maybe it's because I got my clip-ons. But compared to stock, I used to sit upright. Like this, like, tilts me a little bit in the front. It's not a bad thing, but it's, a, it's you know, it takes a while to get used to it. And with this seat, I ride, instead of riding, like, riding the tank like the stock one does, I'm a little bit further back to get really get my butt on the soft spot. Ease of installation is a 10 out of 10. Fit and finish is an 8. Uh, like value is where it, where this this seat is like takes a hit. Value wise, it's a six. Like it's still it's a, it's an expensive mod. If you buy this seat from Sha from Yamaha because Yamaha sells this seat, this seat in Canada, it's 750 dollars plus tax. Which is quite a lot. I got it directly from Shad. It was 350 US, so almost 500 with exchange rate and 80 bucks of shipping and uh, border fees. So it's still almost 600 bucks. But it's a big seat compared to a lot of sports bikes who have that has like a split seat, like a smaller one and a smaller one here. This is a big seat, so there's a lot of material. But maybe that's why it's so expensive. But it's it's it could be cheaper. But I like the fact that the stitching is really beautiful on it. Like the texture are really beautiful. Ooh, makes me think. The thing that you're gonna notice as soon as you ride it is this texture is much more grippier than the stock one. You're gonna slide around a lot less, especially on braking. 